Hey everybody, how's it going? It's RGJ Runner here again, and we're back with part 3 of Amnesia. Holy shit, I got that right last time I said part 2, or part 1 goes. Or never, never mind, I mixed up the parts, you get the idea. Okay, we're heading into the laboratory. Making some wacky concoction of god knows what filth. Oh no, wait, we're heading into the wine tank. Damn it. I'm going to the inventory. That's not the inventory. Ah, here we go. Wine cellar key. Yeah, let me pick it up. Ah, ah I'm a genius. The statues were praying, gazing into the dark doom ceiling. Alrighty then. That doesn't sound a bit creepy. Speaking of creepy, I don't like this sound. Whoa, that was a shit dialogue. Right. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left nothing up wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! Okay, so I'm drunk fools in, in the wine cellar. Obviously a flashback. Oh shit, man. Please don't tell me he's out there. Really, I don't want to see, see that. Beast. It's bad. It's bad enough if the property's groaning. Oh god! And there's another behind the barrels. No, maybe over here. No, 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 no. No. What about you? You look suspicious. Stolen for time, screw it. Hello. Okay, he's not there. That's alright, too. I don't see him anyway. Oh. This place looks fun. Went down here. The fucking massacre. More dialogue. What's happening? Oh, feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except it. We're not getting out. Poisoned him. That rat bastard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I do that? Hmm. 
And there's going to be another bit of dialogue here. Picked up Aqua Regia. That's one of the things we need. Alright. My name is Willem. Willem, Willem, whatever. House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago I was sunk to the castle of Vernonburg as most of the atrocity I was curious about what this supposed knight warlock could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a, a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honours I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap, hel I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within the noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but again swiftly I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brunswick. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even hundreds, hundreds, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. <coughs> Excuse me. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tis a fine my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I've done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. My, <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer, no longer what? No longer see. All right, that sounds. <coughs> sounds about right. Sorry, I have a bit of a cough. All right, then. That's why <coughs> I'm going a bit deep voice here. Okay, there is nothing in this room apart from Aqua Regia and Red Regia and that note and whatever dialogue. Shit, will you freaking open that? Just gonna do some exploring, grab a few tinder boxes, pull out a few boxes. Who knows what we'll find? Maybe we just blow, blow our way out. I didn't wait. Hold on, that didn't sound right. That never mind. You all have a bunch of you all have a bunch of dirty minds anyway. I know what you're thinking. Then, now, how do we get out of this kerfuffle? Just by holding down left mouse while moving W A S A D to push right mouse for a strong push in the direction you face. All right, so I have to hold the left mouse. Oops. Okay, we we're making progress here. Mm -hmm. 
instead of being summoned, bitch, Daniel should have become freaking wandering labor, laborer. Because he's good at heavy labor. Can I move this? Can I? I'm pushing, but nothing's happening. Wait, wait. Awesome stuff. Go on, move. Now if you put put it on this side. Shit man. Can I can I not move this? There? No, that's as far as it's going to go. Okay. Right, let's get moving. If an enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide in darkness. Make sure to turn off your lan lantern if possible. What do you mean if there's an enemy nearby? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Is there going to be an enemy nearby? somewhere good. Probably want some private time. More tinder boxes. Oh. But he can stay out there. Oh, I see, I see. Yes! Ought to be my tower. Well, alright, I'll conclude this part, because I, I didn't realise last time in part 2 that it was over 25 minutes in length, so I'll try to keep them short, about 10 to 15 minutes. So, until next time, see you later guys.